Hey guys, um, another question came in about concussions specifically and can you um, develop dysautonomia after concussion? Uh, the answer is a resounding yes, you can develop dysautonomia after a concussion. Um, one of the biggest reasons why is when we get a concussion or have a head injury, uh, whether it's, you know, from a whiplash injury, we actually hit our head, you know, there's different mechanisms to having these concussions, but a lot of times what happens is it's affecting the brainstem function, um, which is where we see a lot of our autonomic control happen. Um, we also see cortical dysfunction that plays a role in head injuries and also in autonomic dysfunction. But um, for the purposes of this question, a lot of times the brainstem in a concussion or any uh, head injury is really where we see a lot of the dysfunction because of how the big brain sits on the brain stem and when you get that rattled around it actually moves and twists that brain stem which controls a lot of the autonomics um, so those are the areas that we find to be dysfunctional in the brain a lot of times after a head injury and those are also the areas that control the majority of our autonomic function. So those things do go hand in hand. Um, it's something that we do see very often. Um, and you can also have autonomic dysfunction after a concussion without maybe meeting the criteria for a full-blown autonomic disorder, or you may in fact meet the criteria for that disorder. So if you're having uh, symptoms of autonomic dysfunction, definitely go and get evaluated um, and figure out you know, where those are coming from. Um, but yes, it is possible that you've developed autonomic dysfunction or dysautonomia uh, after a head injury.